In this series, we're going to be taking a look at what is astrology and how to read your own personal birth chart. So to begin with, we need to actually understand what astrology is. Quite often, we're taught it is the planets having a go at us from the outside. We're victims and the planets are moving around and we just have to cope with good days and bad days. But that's very, very far from the truth. What astrology actually is, is your own inner zodiac and how it corresponds to what's going on outside. It's a two-way relationship. And once you understand that, you can begin to master your chart and you can make, begin to actually work with the planetary energies that are around. And it's actually a lot easier than you'd imagine. So to look at the big picture, the sun takes up 99% of the matter in our solar system and that only leaves 0.01%, I believe, of pure vibrant frequency. What used to be seen as void or dark matter has now been discredited, that theory. Everything is a potent field of electromagnetic energy. And all the planets as they spin and your heart as it beats create massive electromagnetic fields which can be measured in sine waves. And of course if there's no matter in our solar system that means that your heart can be in a direct relationship with a planet as far away as Pluto because there's just nothing to get in the way. So if you imagine all these waves going through our complex universe a bit like notes on a piano some of the geometry of the waves will be harmonic and some will be a bit more discordant and clashing. So when we take a look at our birth chart, we can see we've actually chosen, we've planned this. We've planned the position of the planets at the time of our birth, like a stargate, so that we can come in and have that divine fabric within us. And when we look at the chart, we can see the red lines, which are the discordant ones, which will stretch us and help us expand and challenge us. And the blue lines, which can be more harmonic and it can show talent and ease. And the sacred position of all of the planets makes a cosmic thumbprint which is unique to you. If somebody else has the same chart, they would have to be born in the same place in the same time. And then their psychological upbringing will give them different responses to situations that are going on. And therefore they'll make different decisions. They'll have different impulses inside of them. So by the time we get to making our own decisions, we are truly unique with our chart. And the person that's got the same chart as you may just have a general wave of health issues or career changes, kind of biorhythmical similarity to your chart, but the way that you're dealing with it will be very, very different. So astrology is all about mastery. It's realising that we designed our chart, that we're waking up to it, not having to struggle to learn it. It's realising that the zodiac and all the planets are representations of what's going on inside of you and you're in a two-way relationship with each of the heavenly bodies. And then it's beginning to understand your own dynamics so that you can work with it. Maybe that in a past life you chose very different challenges and this time you want to experience the opposite. Because it's said that life is actually neutral and it's us that gives it meaning. So we set up this template inside of ourselves, all these angles, the blue and the red lines and the green lines sometimes, in order that we have some tensions and friction inside of us that we can experience different aspects of life and challenge ourselves on how we're going to cope. So when the planets move around on the outside, it becomes like a map. As a planet slowly goes over something in your birth chart, that will bring that aspect of you out into central focus so that you can deal with it. But the free will aspect is you can deal with that however you want. So the other common misconception of astrology is that the universe is happening at you and you have no free will but that couldn't be further from the truth the deal with astrology is you're in a relationship with the planets and you become the master once you study your chart once you see what's coming up you can see what's priority you can see your pacing and you can actually do the right thing at the right time at the right pace and make the most of the planetary energies that are uh, bringing those aspects out of you for inspection. So your astrological chart is really something that you wanted to remember. You wanted to reconnect with it. You wanted to see what challenges you've set for yourself, what sacred geometry you've got going on inside of yourself, where your talents are, where your difficulties are, and then to be able to ride the waves as we go along through life and actually make yourself proud, make yourself the master. 
So it's really very, very deep. It's a map of this lifetime, often with past life influences coming in as well. That's a fascinating part of a chart reading. And although it does take quite a lot of time to learn how to read a chart, we're going to be going through the basics step by step here. So at least you can begin to take a look at your chart and it turns from being crazy scientific squiggles to actually beginning to make sense inside of you. And if you follow all the way through this series, then you'll uh, have the basics on how to master your chart and live a more effortless and harmonic life.